then picked up, and here goes Deshaun Jameson. 15 breaks outside. 20, 25. Here's Jameson up to midfield, down the 40. Say goodnight to it. All the way back, Deshaun Jameson brings back the kickoff, and the Longhorns strike right back. Whenever you, you start breaking down your returns, you got two from kickoffs, one from punt. Uh, what is it that you're looking for whenever you spring those big gains and, and, and bust loose? Uh, the one thing I try to focus on is just making one move and go. Because, you know, the, the more you try to, like, do too much, you know what I'm saying, the faster, you know, for them to get, come down there and tackle you. So the one thing I try to do is focus on catching the ball first and then get as many yards as I can or just, you know what I'm saying, go to the touchdown. You know, your, your return against Oklahoma State reminds me of another return that I was a part of. Jordan Shipley, uh, who's currently the record holder for returns uh, at the moment, which I think you will break. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> but uh, he, we were playing against Oklahoma in the Red River robbery game in 2008, and we were down 14-3, to and out of nowhere, Jordan receives the ball on the kickoff and takes it to the house, and that momentum was able to drive us to win 45-35. to in the same sense, you guys were down 11 against Oklahoma State, 31-20, and I, I see the way that you were able to provide that same spark. Uh, you know, what does it feel like to be that person that the team can depend on whenever you're returning the ball? It feels amazing. I try to do the best I can every every chance I get. Every time I, you know what I'm saying, have the ball in my hand, I try to, you know what I'm saying, do whatever I can to help the team out, help the team win, and just, you know what I'm saying, make sure I just do my job. So I got one question for you. What's up? What was your favorite return as being a Longhorn? Mine probably has to go, ironically, to the Oklahoma State game here in 2011, my senior year. Uh, we were down, Justin Gilbert, who was there, all everything stud, had literally just taken the kick back prior to them kicking it off to me. And so in my mind, man, uh, I had the same mentality that you had is, is I want to go out there and make a play for my teammates. The ball was kicked five yards deep into the end zone. Mm -hmm. I wasn't supposed to take it out. Yeah. I, had, I had a two yard <laughs> depth that I was supposed to, to keep it in. If it was two yards or deeper, it was supposed to be a touchback. But in that moment, I, I had faith in my teammates. I had faith in my blocking and, and then faith in myself to be able to try to make a play. And, uh, was able to take it out and uh, break a couple of tackles and, and read the blocks from my teammates and outrun the kicker and uh, man was able to score on that and it just felt really good to be a, a spark to try to help us uh, get back into the game. So we got West Virginia in town. Talk about your, your interception that you had against them last year. Oh man, the interception I had last year, that, that was unexpected. I, I never knew I could do that. <laughs> uh, and once I seen the ball in the air, I'll just all I know is attack the ball. The only thing I had that that was close to him was my right hand, and once I reached up for it, and I had tried, I I actually tried to deflect the ball, but he ended up having his hands on it and my hands was on it too. So as he's jumping up, I try to like grab it and take it with me, and I end up taking him and the ball with me. And when I had the ball in my hands, I was excited too at the same time, but I was surprised because I was like, man, like. I, I, that was my first interception, like one-hander, like that was very, um, like it was amazing. It was like really amazing. It was, it was. I appreciate your time, man. Best of luck to you the rest of the season and go break them records. Yes, sir. Appreciate you.